And, and Master, you are a longtime uh, Texas senator. Uh, I know you worked with President George W. Bush, H.W. Uh, Bush, uh, and I want to play for you a sound bite because the president spoke about him. We know he's in ailing health, uh, and this is what he said this week. Thousand points of light. I never quite got that one. I'm trying to say, what the hell is that? Has anyone ever figured that one out? Uh, and it was put out by a Republican, wasn't it? That a thousand points of light was the president's reference to uh, a call to service. Was President Trump appropriate in, in speaking about 41 in those terms? Well, Margaret, as you said, I am a great friend and admirer of George H.W. Bush, and I think President Trump is too. I think that um, th those comments, I, I don't know, you know what the context was, uh, but uh, I think President Bush uh, is uh, one of the presidents that has been a wonderful um, beacon for the freedom uh, of our country. He fought in World War II, uh, and I think President Trump believes that as well. I, I don't know the program uh, comment, but I think there is a respect there that we all have for President Bush. Do you ever speak to President Trump when he makes comments like that? You know, I have not called uh, President Trump ever. I also never called President Bush or President Obama or President Clinton. So um, I don't call presidents uh, regularly. I, I certainly uh, appreciate the opportunity uh, that I have to see him next week. And uh, he is coming here, I think, to be part of this alliance. and. I really think that America is leading in the NATO alliance, and it is also benefiting greatly uh, from having 28 partners who agree uh, for our need for a common defense, because our Western civilization, as President Trump very well said in Poland uh, last year, uh, depends on our strength together uh, against malign influence from outside places like Russia, terrorist groups that would try to disrupt our way of life and our commitment to freedom and democracy.